Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about web designing. If you are interested to build your career in web area, so this presentation could be useful for you. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the various areas of web and in this particular stream, how the designing is helpful to build up a career. There are two different sections. One is design and another one is development. If we just go through the designing part of web, this designing part is having lot many utilities and smart uh, tools which lets you to design the web interface very attractively it could possible with the hand coding there are so many drag and drop utilities but the very strong tool or the application which lets you to format your website on global standard such tools or softwares in which the best tool is Dreamweaver this is a very smart tool very comfortable very convenient tool which lets you to design the interface of your complete website okay if we go through the design part design is also having the two different sections the first section is in user interface design the static part static part means the area or the content which do not interact anyhow when you design them they remain static for the full time there will be no response as per client mode is concerned or a server mode is concerned when you would like to design the total static part the two things which we require to design the static part of our website these are one HTML, second one CSS. These are the two basic skills for the static designing purpose. If we talk about HTML, HTML is hypertext markup language which lets the browser to understand the designing layouts in terms of scripting language second area is css css is cascading style sheet these are the presets or a small classes which lets you to bundle the design style and you can apply over multiple elements on your web page after these two concepts if we go further in design area there is a very significant use of graphic visual elements if we talk about the visual element the best tool which can help you to produce good visual elements is Adobe Photoshop 
with the help of adobe photoshop we can produce the visual elements related to our web page the icons the buttons or a complete template of our home page when we are going to prepare the visual elements or a template for a home page the most important thing is the proper optimization and color gamut of the template if the colors are not compatible to web palette or the colors are much more then the file size of the visual elements will be more and that may create the problem while downloading at the user end the next important element for our website is motion graphics or animation if we talk about animation the tool which could be helpful for preparing animations is adobe flash flash is the tool through which we can produce good animations somehow here people are using jquery also these are the techniques through which we can prepare motion graphics slide shows banners skyscrapers but the important thing is that while developing your motion graphics or motion contents again the parameter of file optimization the size should be less and the content should be very light so that at the time of browsing at the time of getting download the content may easily accessed by the user now the further area in the designing is dynamic designing friends when we think about some dynamic designing that means the contents which are auto updatable or auto changeable or which may change as per the requirement of client they comes under dynamic design for dynamic design purpose there are few tools like javascript jquery or any language like php asp or jsp they are helpful for preparing dynamic designing while designing our web page or website few issues are there which is important during the de development of our content that is while designing there should be a proper section or categorization of contents like the header the main area and a footer the contents which is to be placed in header is just the introduction about the concept of your website just you have to keep the elements visual elements or the informative elements which could give the introduction of your concept your content second the area which is the explanatory that means the main content of your concept should be at the middle of your website one more section is there the footer footer is the area where you can place your miscellaneous thing the important thing that some people think about that footer is the area which is just to keep the dead contents or dead links in that particular place but you have to remember that whatever the main contents or whatever the elements which 
it may remain miscellaneous that you could enlisted in footer area. Rest of the thing is which is more important about the website or web page that is the content should be placed like that when user comes on your website they should be having something to be engaged. If your contents are totally dead or such functionality is not available there so that when user comes there is no utility or no services which may engage the user just simply user may leave your website. So this is the important thing whenever you prepare the middle section of your web page of your website the most important thing is you have to place few of such activities that may engage the user who visits your web page or your website. So friends these are few facts which we have discussed about web designing. Web is a very vast technology area which may comprises of various sections but in today's session we go through the designing part only whatever the applications of static and dynamic design. In next session we will go through the development part.